I'm always interested in new types of live food, so I decided to order some Tenebrio Obscurus, or mini mealworms. They're quite a bit different from the normal mealworms, Tenebrio Molitor, that you can buy in most pet shops. For one thing, they're much smaller, they're much uh, faster moving, and they are said to have uh, a thinner um, chitinous exoskeleton, which makes them easier to digest. And they also apparently require more moisture, and they're a darker color, as you'll see here in a moment. I decided to try these out and see how our various pets responded to these as a food source to vary their diet a bit. So I'm going to show a couple of clips of us trying them out with some of our mini pets. First of all, we tried them with the chickens, and it was no surprise that they gobbled them up almost immediately. We had never given our crested gecko normal mealworms before because their chitinous exoskeleton is said to be rather indigestible for crested geckos. So these worms were a new experience for her. After uh, some trials, uh, trying to offer the mini mealworms by hand, we realized the mini worm mealworms were very fast and would crawl off of our hands and fall onto the floor or crawl into the spaces between our fingers. So we decided to use a shallow lid to try to offer them. As you can see, this worked much better, although we did notice that the worms had a tendency to crawl right along the edge of the lid and the lip of the lid made it a little difficult for her to uh, catch the worms, so we had to move them and make it a little easier for her to catch them. But all in all, it seems that many mealworms with this crested gecko were a success in terms of feeding response. It remains to be seen whether or not they are sufficiently digestible. Our leopard gecko is also accustomed to eating crickets, which she is fed by hand. We decided to use the shallow lid technique that we had used with the crested gecko with success. And though the leopard gecko was very interested in the mini mealworms, she had a lot of difficulty capturing them. So we moved her over to a larger bin. She was much more successful at capturing the mini mealworms here in the bin. And since leopard geckos can thrive on a staple diet of normal mealworms, despite their chitinous exoskeleton, as long as proper supplementation is provided, we should be able to give her mini mealworms as a component of her diet without any problems. And now to test the mini mealworms with goldfish. We noticed that as soon as we dropped them into the tank, the mini mealworms began to sink immediately and that the goldfish accepted them readily. I'm now going to culture them and see how prolific they are, but so far, mini mealworms seem to be a fairly promising new live food.